this week at Bungie, we are making sure all you mofos who use the bad juju tribute glitch to get that catalyst and emote for basically free. We are making sure you are spending and losing those materials. No, you can't go into Shadow Keep with all those stat materials. You must burn through them. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you guys enjoy it, leaving a like really does help out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay guys, so the latest this week at Bungie has not long dropped. And it contains some interesting information about you dirty glitchy mofos out there like myself who've been using these glitches to get shit for free. No. You can't do that. You must use those materials. Like I said, you can't go into Shadow Keep with all those stat materials. You must burn through them. So basically, Bungie are patching the bad Juju tribute glitch. If you don't know about that, basically switching characters before you place down the banner allows you to, on your second character, continuously keep putting down that banner, which counts as a tribute. Doing this 50 times will get you the bad Juju catalyst unlock the mission for the bad juju itself and also get you the x master spot emote in the latest twab bungie address this and basically confirm that if you do this and use this glitch you will not be able to use the catalyst or use the emote this is what they say as part of the season of opulence guardians are paying homage to their previous adventures to earn awesome rewards some of us leverage and exploit in the tribute hall, taking advantage of Callus's generosity with some clever character switching shenanigans to place that free tribute over and over and over. You get it. This allowed some players to skip the tribute experience entirely, making other players who had done bounties and pledged large amounts of their resource reserves feel a little irked. We'll be fixing this glitch on July 30th as we kick off Solstice of Heroes. As you all know, it's not our policy to punish players who discover cheeses, loot caves or workarounds in the game. If you took advantage of this shortcut, you can rest easy. You won't be marched in front of Callus for sentencing. However, you will not be able to keep using all of your ill-gotten rewards until you square up things with Callus. The tribute's place total will now accurately reflect individual tributes placed on your accounts. If you use the exploit, this number will be updated to properly reflect the total number of tributes you've actually placed. The activation and equipping of both the Bad Juju Catalyst and the X Marks This Bar emotes are also gated by your total number of tributes placed. The Bad Juju will not require you to have 18 tributes placed for it to be used. If you choose your way to the Catalyst or emote, you have some time to start placing legit tributes before July 30th. I don't know where you guys see these glitches, I don't know what YouTubers you've been watching, but those YouTubers are definitely bad influences. Shame on you, shame on you. I sit here recording this, watching my screen, my controller on the side, standing in that forge, farming those materials. Wow, I'm a bad influence. But yeah guys, it's pretty straightforward. If you use the glitch I posted on my channel, jokes aside, which basically allowed you to skip uh, spending all those materials on the tributes, you will now have to actually purchase those tributes to use the emote and use the bad juju catalyst, which kind of does suck, but it is what it is. Also this week at Bungie, they do announce the return of I Am Banner, which will come back on July 23rd, which is next Tuesday and depart on July 30th also with increased valor. But yeah guys, that's basically it of interesting information from this actual This Week at Bungie, the twap. But if you want to read through all it, just talk about certain weapons you can use for certain triumphs and so forth, you know, when you have to apply Leviathan gear or Menagerie gear while doing certain activities. They do have a little bit of information on this regarding the Legend of Acrius and a few other exotics that you can apply which do work. But like I said, the twab will be linked within the video description if you do want to check it out out but on that note guys we have come to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it leave a like really does help out if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one